love to inflate my attempt count so it looks like I've tried a lot harder than a... Yeah, really, you really have to do that. Like, if you try and do two runs in a row, your second run has pretty high odds of just crashing in the middle. So don't, just reset the game. It doesn't take that long to boot up, so it's not that big of a hassle. But it is nevertheless a thing. And console or PC? PC. The PC port is the fastest version of Silent Hill 2 by like a landslide, so PC it is for speedruns. Console version has slow loads and also doesn't have access to quick saving, which lets you do a bunch of weird shit. Like right now, console would be slower than me by default, just because console can't do the skip I did to skip the map. It also can't mash quick save like I'm doing right now, because every single time you quick save, it refills your stamina to the maximum amount. Because every single time the game draws text to the screen, it refills your stamina bar because the game thinks you're like looking at something, like an object, and it's like, okay, he's coming to a stop. Let's refill his stamina. But quick saving, similarly, uh, works. By the way, that game save text in the corner. Uh, I spent time yesterday trying to crop that shit out and put it on a t-shirt. Because I'm a fucking idiot. I spent so much time. I spent longer than I thought I would. You can't put a price on love, but if you did, it'd cost about the same as a Reese's. Whispers, not sorry. Moist. Hi, Ruffles. Thanks for the bits. It's similar to Palatino font. I don't know what Palatino font is, but like that's good to know. My illegal run of Silent Hill 2. The one where I sped the game up to like 50 million. I never saw this, this, this render. What? What render? I never saw shit. Yeah, I think Silent Hill uses a bespoke font, so like you... It's similar to some things. Dude, I know, right? Palutena is good now. Who who came up with this idea? Which which one of you fucking bastards came up with the ideas like, hmm, this is Palutena, let's make her good now. What a concept. Yeah, I know, right? Like, she's now really good. That's, if you can't beat him, join him. You should play Palutena. <laughs> I should play Palutena. Everyone should play Palutena. It's just, it's just the way now. It's Palutena's game, man. Although I play Ness, so unfortunately I'm, I'm... I can't believe I've arrived at the timeline already where people are already complaining about Ness. Like, being boring as a character, because he's too present in tournaments, it's like, fuck you guys, he's been shit for three games. Because, like, Ness is fucking dire in, like, Melee and 64. And he's also pretty dire in Brawl, come to think of it. It's only four that he started to become, like, playable. And even then, he's not great in four, but he's playable. Uh, Smash all Ness is actually finally good. And motherfuckers be complaining. Because it's like, ah, another Ness is, is resident sleeper. It's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> this entire series, this character's been ass. Another one game he's actually worth a shit in. And he's not even, like, close to the toppest of top tier. 
He's good, but he ain't toppest of top tier. What are you getting ultimately made him playable? Uh, his aerials have really good disjoint hitboxes, which was always kind of true. But now it's like more so. Why am I going? I'm going the right way. I'm bad. PK, see, PK fire is just, it's a, it's a low risk, a high reward option. It's just, it's good. Like, it's, it's like doing Hadouken. Why, why would you not do Hadouken? His damage is good. PK Thunder Harass is good. Uh, PK Flash is actually, like, usable now as an edgeguarding tool rather than being a worthless joke of a move. I would prefer PK Freeze, but I'll take it. He has a spike that's actually usable, versus melee where his spike is not usable. Yeah, it is too bad they got rid of his big-ass head normal, because that was, like, his best move. <laughs> Although, like, his U-Air is fine. It's not, like, I still prefer the big head move, I, I, I would say, but... His U-Air can still... It, it can fucking kill still, so whatever. Like, you, you can still absolutely murder people with it at pretty fairly low percent. But yeah, you can't really pressure with it anymore. You can't, like, fast fall up air to pressure people on the ground. It doesn't work like that anymore. But now you can just do neutral air instead. Right, so fuck it. Because neutral air is really good. It's fast. Harder to master. Well, even in games where he's been, like, harder to master, he's just, like, bad. Like, melee ness is bad. 64 Ness is also just bad. Brawl Ness is also kind of bad. Like, he's never been a good character until Ultimate, where he's actually a good character. Like, he's he's quite good now. He's, he's very much punching in the upper half of the tier list. It's like, holy shit, this character is actually good now. It's it's weird, because I, I, have, I have played Ness in every installment of Smash, just because I like Earthbound. Character loyalty, sue me. And every single game, he's been kind of bad. And it's like, this game is like, oh, hang on, this character actually, like, fucking hurts now. What? It's mostly the damage, in my opinion. That's the RNG you want, by the way. That's what good RNG looks like. Any thoughts of Origins? I've ran it. I used to have the world record for the longest time. Take the rest of my bit because apparently I had 200 something left. I'll get you 200 more if you tell me the most British joke you can think of. The most British joke you can think of. The most British joke. What is the most British joke? I don't know. Nothing's coming to mind right now. Shit. <laughs> Graham Linen. Cool. <laughs> that, is, that is a British joke. Why be Ness when you can be Lucas and be just generally better? See, I thought that too for a while, but I think Ness has better normals. Like, Lucas's back air is kind of weird versus Ness's back air, where he just fucking kicks people in the face and kills them. Lucas has a tether grab, and it does noticeably improve his recovery. He also has a better recovery, just broadly. Like, that's, that's Ness's downfall and why he will never be, like, toppest of the top tier. His recovery is really easy to fuck with. And it has always been easy to fuck with. That is, it has been one of the primary reasons Ness has been bad for a very long period of time. Uh, it's still easy to fuck with. See, Lucas's up smash is really strong. Like, it is incredibly strong. But, the caveat is that it has the slowest recovery in the game. Or whatever the fuck smash players call recovery frames. End lag, I think.
May you smash players on your wacky fucking terminology. And like, it's such a- James, Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. Yeah, end lag is such a stupid ass term, but like, fine, whatever. Yeah, that move has the, the, the longest end lag of any move in the game that isn't Ganon's up tilt. In fact, I think a, a Lucas up smash actually beats out fucking Ganon up tilt in terms of end lag. Like, if you hit, if you like throw that move, you better fucking hit it. Because that shit is negative as fuck. Like, even on shield, that shit is like negative 12 million. So, it, like, it's strong, but it's, like, a hard-ass read. You can't just do it. If you're playing at someone who's competent and you're just, like, throwing that out, they will fuck you up for it. Because you can punish that with anything. Like, if you're Ness and you block one, you have... Or if he whiffs it in front of you, you have time to start a PK Thunder and run it into him, and you have time to do that. Like, you have enough time to ram a PK Thunder 2 up someone's ass. It'll work. And you'll probably kill him, because he's light. Hey, Gonzak. Thank you very much. I'm glad people like my stuff at GDQ. Makes it worth it. It's fucking expensive going as well, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta make my time count while I'm at GDQs. Because it's hella not cheap. Orlando, Orlando is substantially cheaper, actually. <laughs> is Game & Watch hard, always hard to unlock? In Ultimate? Like, there's actually a fixed order the characters unlock in. If you're talking about, like, AI difficulty, I don't know. Did you know I was going to run at GDQ? Dude, I've, I've ran at, like, multiple of them at this point, man. Never talked about it. Well, it's like it was—it's the Galaxy Trail server, in it, not like the Punchy server. I talk about my shit on my server, not not other people's servers. That's cute. Like I—I I would talk about GDQ. Like I—I I only mentioned the fact that like uh, Revolution got Carolyn, and then it got like pulled because. America fucking sucks and denied his visa because he's not white. Not other people's service. It's you know what I fucking mean. Don't be a bitch, Ruffles. It's not for me. It's not. It's not to promote myself. That's not the purpose of it. It's to promote Galaxy Trail things. Not me. I have a server for that. That's my shit. Like people sometimes do it for me. The the closest I ever got to promoting myself on the Galaxy Trail server is the fucking, the fact that I posted a stream that I was doing of the, the Freedom Planet Switch version in advance of its release because I got explicit permission from Strife to do that. Even though I have definitely picked up some, like, audience off of the Galaxy Trail server just by proxy. Which is a thing I'm still kind of weird about, but no one seems to care besides me, so I guess I'll just let it go. I care, because I, I don't feel like it should ever have been my, uh... Like, it, it was never supposed to be something I was supposed to get something out of. But I did get something out of it, and in fact, I've gotten a lot out of it. Like, okay. Like, I, can't, I can't really fight it if people want to watch me, I guess. Hello, Dairy Milk. Welcome to the stream. We are minus eight. We are currently speed running. The video game. See, that's what good RNG plus good, like, clean apartment split looks like. Oh, 
why would anyone want to watch me? I don't know. Bunch of fucking froobs. Did you find the lady you're looking for? Nope. What's your name? Mary? I have found nothing yet. The weird step audio glitch. That happens if I set core affinity wrong, and I haven't, so it shouldn't happen again. Thank you very much, Dairy Milk. I try my best at GDQs. I bring the A game. And it's nice that my A game seems to be effective. Right, it's, it's, it's always gotta suck when you, you go out that far to an event like that and don't really land your commentary any. Like, I, I know people who have travelled quite the distance to, to have runs that kinda just sorta came and went, and it's like, hmm, that's... That's gotta suck. I mean, I was there once too. Like, no one, no one, no one remembers the first one I did at a GDQ. No one. Wait, you can't watch a 1080p60. Just poop for 80. It's, I don't know, man. It's the same as it's ever been. Was it a weeb game? No. See, the fact that you don't even know. Says it all. Says the story. You saw my shuriken. See, that guy knows. Zero knows. Shuriken was the first one I did at a GDQ. 9484. Hey, portable head. It's not that I think my run of shuriken was bad, precisely. It's just that it was, like, so short that it was impossible to really make any impact with it. The thing that made more impact that event was me couching Freedom Planet. So I really want to get... I really want Freedom Planet to get into another marathon. Later, Ruffles. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I think everyone did, Zero. I think everyone preferred my Silent Horror. Do I run Freedom Planet as well? I used to, yeah. It has a, it's been years. 1588. 1588. Wait, I I used to run Freedom Planet. It's been at least like two or three years since I ran Freedom Planet, like sincerely. But I've always had very strong ties to the Freedom Planet community. Like, for one thing, I literally run the the official, like, company-backed server for the game. Fucking hell, I can't input shit. So, like, I, I'm on pretty good terms with the people who make Freedom Planet, for one thing. Fuma's not been submitting Freedom Planet. It's not that people haven't been submitting it, it's just that it keeps getting, like, bullshitted. Like, it gets- here's the thing. It gets into marathons fairly consistently. Like, GDQ staff like it. It has a history of good appearances. But the past two times that it's been in an event, one of the runners has had to drop out because his fucking- he can't get the American, like, travel 
agency people, I don't even know what you call this. They keep denying his fucking visa, basically, for really, like, spurious reasons. I think it's because he's not white. Open the menu, please. Because for whatever reason, uh, Freedom Planet runners are mostly South American. Like, there's a pretty decent presence for the game in South America. Fladervi is Brazilian and he's like the primary. You probably know Fladervi better for Celeste these days, but he is one of, if not the best, Freedom Planet player that has ever, like, graced the game. Just period. Uh, he was fortunate enough to get a visa that is valid until 2022. So, like, fortunately, we were still able to run the... the time it was submitted as a race between Fladervi and Revo. Revo had to drop out because the, the people were like, haha, no, no visa for you, bitch, for no real reason other than just haha, he's a non-white. Whereas the Derby already had his, so he could go to GDQ and I was able to do my my commentary that became so beloved. Although it really, like, people like that run. I'm glad they like that run, but it really was missing something without Revo being there to be a race. Because, like, the whole idea, the entire setup was, like, two of the best players face off in a race while I do, like, madcap, like, shoutcast commentary. Which is why I was, like, so fucking off my meds during that run. Because that was, like, the persona that was agreed on for that run. And, uh, it was, it was missing a piece. It was missing a piece. I, I did it anyway, like, I think I adapted well enough to the, the single format, but... That was, it, it did not, that was not the plan. But then, there was redemption. Because of the next stage DQ, after taking, a, like, a marathon out. Uh, he submitted, Revolution submitted Carol. Uh, a character, a different category in that game. And that got in. But uh, once again, the American fucking visa people were like, nope. Nope. We're just not, we're just not gonna let you into the country for no particular reason. So it had to be pulled. It's like, okay. That's, that's fine, I guess. Thanks. It's like, yay. Like it. It's really, like, a fucking pissing load of shit, because, like, Revo is one of the, the most talented speedrunners, like, in the scene, just generally speaking. But he's been clearly, like, put off by the, the fucking the bullshit that has happened to him. Like, he struggles to get recognition just because he can't... Like, he, he struggles to interact with streaming in a big way, because... Argentina, right? Like, the internet's not great. And, like, technical equipment is not easy to acquire over there. and not cheap, more to the point. But if he could get, like, his one big strike at a GDQ, it could be at least a chance to get his name sort of on the map. But he keeps getting repeatedly fucking denied that as well by bureaucracy and political, or, like, horse shit. Because, you know, haha, -ha, obviously any non-white coming from Argentina obviously wants to stay in America to steal their jobs, despite the fact he's fucking employed. Or at least he was. So, like, that's- it's- it's bullshit. Like, he's- he has been broadly denied something that could very much help his station in life generally. By fucking bullshit American policies. It's, like, actively hurting him in the long term. Because I was like, look at me, look at people like me. I went to GDQ, I had my, my, my hot streak, and now I have a hell of a lot more eyes on me. And furthermore, more support. And that's like, good, it's important, it's buoyant. Like, financial security is good, who would have thought? It's 
So I imagine it's been good for Fadervi as well because he he also got a boost and has been getting a boost off being the Celeste World Record holder, or at least like was for a time. So people are finally starting to recognize that also Fadervi is incredibly talented and one of the best speedrunners going. So he is now getting lots of support as well, and it's like, I, it's not really enough to be financially solvent in his particular circumstance, but it fucking helps. It's like, that, that is like a direct improvement to one's quality of life. If you can maintain it. I think he'll be fine. People are eager to see him break the record again. He has been established as a challenger. It's when Celeste, like, stops being the gravy train that I'm worried about. So there's 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 your boring economic side of speedrunning for you. For, for the evening. Shit like that matters. It can, in fact, affect lives. As stupid as that sounds, but it totally can. Like, GDQ is very powerful. Very powerful. It can absolutely make a difference in that way. Did I read all the donation comments with the sum of ones? Dude, I did not pause. There is not enough time in the fucking marathon to read all the donation comments. I could stand there, like, blue in the face and read off every donation comment I possibly could, and I would not get through all of them. I- you necessarily have to skip some when you are hosting. Firstly, you just have to skip some that are just boring. Uh, ones that are outright vulgar, you have to get rid of. That's mostly not my job, but that's the job of the donation processors. But still, like, some get through, and sometimes I just, like, ping them. It's like, nope. Nobody nope. But moreover, I think the, the majority of comments that I avoided were just because of pacing. Like, there are a lot of donations that tell a story, right? They tell a story about a relative who got cancer, and either they overcame it, or they, they died, or something. And it sounds like I'm being really callous, but here's the thing. There's dozens of them. There's dozens of these stories, and they all kind of, they're all similar. You can't read too many of them in a row, because it will, it, like, the pacing is, is bad. Like, you, you, you don't want to read too many donations that have, like, the sad stories in a row, because it will bring the mood down. You want to read some, you want to pepper them in, but you need to pace them correctly. You've heard less and less wholesome, more sad story donations. Yeah, that's because people are trying to pace them better. That's because of people like me trying to not read four of them in a row. Like, the rule I invented for myself is, like, max two. Like, read two of them, then at least find a fun one. If you have to. And sometimes, you thought it was pick the ones with more money. Well, more money can make it a higher priority, because obviously, here's the thing, if you have like a $5 donation and it's like they've written War and Peace in the comment, don't read it. Whereas if you've written War and Peace and you donated like $600, you're more likely to get your War and Peace read. But it's still not absolute. Like, if you if you have, if you donate a large amount, but your comment is really boring, <laughs> then it's still probably going to fall by the wayside to something that's like a lesser amount, but is more interesting. And particularly like runner's preference plays into this. Because runners often have a preference. They often have a secret hashtag that they uh, they tell the donation host that's like, if this hashtag comes up, prioritize these comments. Or if it contains this phrase, prioritize these comments. So you read those, and they also let you know specific things to look out for, like, ah, such and such is going to be donating during this one. If they donate, please read their comment, etc, etc. Like, uh, I, I read a comment from Grand Pooh Bear specifically during, like, the Mario ROM hack thing. Because, like, I knew the name had some significance to marry. I'm not really sure what, but I knew the name was important somehow. So, like, that was deliberately timed to be when it was. Because I thought it would be the smart play. And it was. It was absolutely the smart play.
Posting is complicated. It's about pacing. It's about recognizing the timing. Because, like, sometimes you need to pay attention to the run as well. Here's where knowing the run actually helps quite a lot. With knowing things about when to host. Because, like, I hosted for a bunch of runs I didn't know jack shit about. And that was a problem. Because there I was getting comments during the Mario Odyssey run that included specific reference to tricks and things. I didn't fucking know what those tricks were. I couldn't possibly have guessed. Like, here's the thing. One of the donation comments that I didn't read during Mario Odyssey was someone who was like, Hey, Bayleaf, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hoping for good fishing RNG. And it's like... Uh, and that comment came in at a time where fishing had already happened. So I passed it. Like, I, I passed on reading it. I didn't read it. But there was more fishing. I didn't know there was more fishing. So I could have read it. But I didn't. Because uh, I didn't know the run well enough to make the correct judgement call. Whereas if I did, I might have been able to hold that one. Get the fuck out of the way. What is that bullshit? Jesus fuck. What trash RNG that was. You can't read, like, comments out of season. I, I read a couple of comments that were definitely out of season. Like, comments that had a, a specific reference to events that had already passed. And it's like, that was... that was bad. There, there were some... there were some noticeable, like, not... not good... interjections. The runners always have to tell when to read donations? Uh, they don't have to. If you sense a dull moment, you can use your better judgement to butt in. No, 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 that this camera angle's fucking cancer. I'm losing a shit ton of time on this split. Ugh, bad. Yeah, that's the thing, is that I think I butt in maybe once or twice, like, during both of my shifts, and I was under specific instructions to do so. Like, uh, I butt in exactly once during Tropical Freeze to announce the donation total had passed $800,000, and I butt in as well to, like, read the donation that was about, like, ah, at the three-hour mark in this run, everyone donate $5, let's get the, the, the donation train rolling. And that, for the record, was not my idea. Like, I would not have done that if I wasn't under specific instructions from the producer to do that. Because, like, that was, that was the producer's idea. It was not my idea. It looked like my idea. It was not my idea. The, the producer, like, comes up to me. I think it was- it might have been just one of the donation people, I guess. I'm not actually sure if it was the producer. Someone had a plan. They came up to me and was like, Yo, this- we're gonna put this donation in. Uh, you need to read this within the next three minutes, but in if you have to. And I was like, got it. So I, I found a gap, and I got in there. It took me three attempts to find a gap, by the way, to read that one. Because I would, I would unmute my microphone, I would go, and then they'd start talking, and I'd go, I'd slam that mute button, and I'd be like, shit. And it got to the point where someone who like was sitting in front of me in the audience started laughing at me every time I tried to do it because they would they would see me attempt it and fucking miss, and I'd be like, and I point at him and I'd go like that. <laughs> it was funny. I found it very funny. Yeah, this split's bad. But I eventually, I eventually found my, uh, my channel. Why did I pick the DK route? Because people were donating fucking thousands of dollars for it, dude. I didn't pick the DK route, but, like, people, like, once Spike got it on, like, got it rolling, people were donating literally thousands of dollars. Like, a lot of money. And, like, Donation Tech was saying as well, you know, like, like, if you, this is, like, a lot of people are donating for this. Uh, like, can you do this? And I was like, no, I actually can't. 
And he was like, oh, I guess you're gonna have to skip it then. And I was like, maybe. And they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, give me a moment. And then I found a moment, and I belted it out, and it was absolutely worth it. Because, like, when, when the crowd wants something like that, you can't, like, not give it to them, right? Like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, something dumb as shit that people were just sort of, like, not really, like, that hard about, but... But people were donating thousands of dollars for that shit. Fucking thousands, man. And the goal of a host, you know, you gotta keep the pacing up, but... The, the overall goal of everyone involved is to raise the money. And if people are donating thousands of dollars for something, like, go with it. Like, fuck it, man. Like, I know people hated the whole, like, kaboom and orb and shit like that, right? Like, it was going on during, like, Wind Waker and other runs, but... They fucking raised a shit ton of money, so... Pfft, suck a dick. Yeah, I know you hated it, but it raised a shit ton of cash, so... Suck it. <laughs> So like if 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 when when the momentum when the momentum is high like that, it is imperative that you ride it. This is key as a runner and a host, as anyone. When the momentum is like that, go with momentum. Don't fight momentum. Or, if only I hadn't lost a million years on Labyrinth. Be like when momentum is present, you you should go with it. You should always go with momentum. When you have crowd energy behind something, you should you should get it. You really should just go with it. Like, a key example of how to not do that, for example, is... Everyone's familiar with the Super Metroid run, right? Where CFB grabbed a mic and told everyone to kill themselves because they were saying wah a lot. Like, that's kind of annoying and it wasn't translating into anything, but that's an example of, like, how to immediately bludgeon the shit out of your crowd momentum. It's like, try not to do that. <laughs> Try not to do that. As funny as I found that, that's not good technique. <laughs> Fighting. Well, I was, like, arguing, but I wasn't, like, telling them to stop, you know? Like, I was playing off it. I wasn't, like, being like, no, don't do this. I was like, no, that's not an orb, that's a cloud. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's, it's, it's banter. I, th I thought that was, like, an okay... I don't know. I, I was trying to create a dynamic, because it was clear past a certain point that I wasn't going to get a word in edgewise to do my normal commentary. Oh god, don't punch me. So I had to come up with a different way to... to... to do things. So I started to bounce off the, the, uh, the orb comments instead, rather than trying to run my predetermined commentary and just getting trampled by it. Again, that's an example of, like, when you have momentum, just fucking run with it. Like, don't try and fight it. Like, the crowd was behind something, so I figured just, just let them have it. Like, unless, unless the runner calls serious time, uh, I was not going to be able to stop that. Like, serious time is also a, a, a rule that is respected. Even though I kind of think serious time shouldn't really be necessary if you actually know what you're doing, but... Like, whatever. Like I like I never call serious time. You should. You, I do not like serious time. I think it stalls momentum. Unless you're building up to something really big. Like unless you're about to pull off something that's like very incredible. Don't be serious time. 
Like, unless it serves the pacing of your run. No, I mean... Oh, fuck you, game. <sighs> well, I got it first try, but shit, dude. I entered the, the, the hell gravity no zone. I didn't fail it, I guess. Yeah, I didn't like that very much. Yeah, like, if it serves the pacing of your run well, then use serious time. But if it's, like, if it looks, like, really mundane, like, don't. <laughs> Just don't. I mean, I get that everyone's different. Like, some people can't play well when they don't have, like, the, the super focus. Seriously, well, yeah, if you're if you're doing like an audio cue or like you're doing a blindfolded run or some shit, then like by all means, yeah, you need to focus. Like that, there are there are like limitations on this where like yeah, like sure enough, go. But you may notice that serious time is getting like less and less as the years roll on because people are taking themselves less seriously. Because that's the thing, right? Is it a marathon? The quality of your run in terms of like the raw gameplay is way less important versus how much of a showman you are. Like, I know this. Everyone knows it. Everyone with sense knows it. No, game, why? I just got fucking screwed over. You can't use that here. Hmm. I don't like it, dude. I don't think this one's got it in it. I think it's been too mediocre. Getting screwed over by bad hitboxes at the end is, is not it, Chief. This is so sad, Alexa, play reset. That was good. Time, it says. It's time to stop. I can hear screaming next door. I wonder if they're mad about me. I'm trying to listen in now. <laughs> No, don't drop input. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I mean, I PB'd, but, like, that's not great. That's a new world record for what it's worth. <laughs> the two-second PB, though. Ah, that's not as good as one hopes for at all, is it, really? I mean, it's a new PB, and it did take me, like, six weeks to get here. <laughs> six weeks? Excuse me, six days. Just fucking going at it next door, dude. <laughs> Yo, neighbors yelling, you're in the VOD, what the fuck? Calm down. <laughs> Four, thank you for the 500 bits.
Ah, man. I kind of... Like, I'm happy I PB, don't get me wrong. Like, this game is so random that it's hard to be unhappy with any PB, but that wasn't... That wasn't that wasn't the run that I was looking for. But PB is PB, right? It's hard to be uh it's hard to be all that dour about it. I haven't PB'd in this game in like actually a month, so like that's nice. Later Forb, good night. Thanks for thanks for everything. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for being here, everyone, for the the past six days solid of attempts and getting nothing but shit. <laughs> I finally got a run that PV, but it's like it won't it wasn't quite it. It wasn't quite the run that I was thinking about. Like I think thirty six four X is a very reasonable goal for this category, even though I think it'll take a while to get